Welcome back and thank you so much for being here. I get messages, comments, emails from at least one of you almost daily asking me what do I think about this skincare device? Have I tried this skincare device? And I absolutely love that you trust me with my opinion. It really means the world to me. So please keep the comments, messages and emails coming. But being somewhat of a skincare devices addict myself, I have heard of most of the devices you ask me about, tried many of them. If I haven't, I will research the device further. Oftentimes, I will reach out to the company and ask them questions. Many times I end up buying the device because I am so curious. If I'm really lucky, the company will send me the device for an honest review. But about two months ago, several of you around the same time reached out to me and asked me, what do I think about the mirror ultrasound? I had never heard of the mirror ultrasound. So of course I researched it further. I went on the mirror ultrasound website and honestly, right away was a bit turned off. They have before and after pictures on their website, which are clearly manipulated. Now we all want these devices to do wonders. Most of them unfortunately don't. So I understand the need for maybe exaggerating before and after pictures a little bit, but I would rather see realistic before and after pictures than clearly manipulated ones. In some of the pictures on the website, it was very apparent that it was not even the same person in the after picture. So right away, that turned me off. But then I learned that the tool was made in Germany. That warmed my heart a bit, being from Germany myself. So I actually did reach out to the company and the co-creator of the tool, his name is Pia, wrote me right back, invited me to a phone conversation. We had a lovely talk. We talked for about an hour in German. And after the conversation, I was convinced I needed to try the mirror ultrasound. So I have it right here. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you what this is supposed to do and what it has actually done for me using it now for about two months. So this is a therapeutic ultrasound device and a therapeutic ultrasound, not to be confused with diagnostic ultrasound, has been around for a long time. In the past, it has been mainly used to treat physical injuries since it introduces an energy into the body, which creates a process called cavitation. And cavitation is a process in which microscopic gas bubbles around our tissue expand and compress rapidly. And it is this expansion and compression that speeds up cellular processes and helps with the healing of tissues. On top of this process of cavitation, ultrasound also gives off a gentle heat. And talking about heat, I am filming this in my bathroom because my bathroom is a tiny bit cooler than where I normally film, but it is still extremely hot. So if I turn into a sweaty mess throughout this video, I'm really sorry. But ultrasound waves create a gentle heat. This heat is different than putting on a heating pad. It actually penetrates deep into our soft tissue. This creates increased blood flow. With this increased blood flow, nutrients can get to the cell and waste product can be removed from the cell. So this is why ultrasound can be very beneficial if you have an injury. These ultrasound waves also perk up our fibroblasts and fibroblasts create collagen and elastin. So it is theorized that ultrasound waves can also help with collagen and elastin production. And then last but not least, ultrasound can also be used to help penetrate certain ingredients deeper into the skin through a process called phonophoresis. 
Phonophoresis is commonly used to enhance the delivery of topically applied drugs such as anti-inflammatory or analgesic drugs. So ultrasound can also be used to help the penetration of certain ingredients. In fact, in vitro studies on human skin cells show that application of ultrasound dramatically increases the absorption of allascorbic acid, vitamin C. So in this study, the ultrasound was clearly used for cosmetic purposes. Another study involving 60 subjects with hyperpigmentation divided the subjects in two groups. One group only applied a skin lightening agent. The second group applied the same skin lightening agent, but combined it with ultrasound treatments. And after four weeks, there was a significant reduction in hyperpigmentation in the group combining the skin lightening agent with the ultrasound treatment. So looking at these studies, it is no surprise that the skincare industry has also started using ultrasound to help with the penetration of ingredients. One of the things that intrigued me with this device is that it is not just a skincare device. So I figured if it does not work as a skincare device, I can always use it if I have an injury or pain. So this is marketed as a skincare device, but also for pain and injury recovery. As a skincare device, it promises healthier, plumper looking skin, reduced lines and wrinkles, reduced redness, even a reduction in broken capillaries. And it also promises to help with product penetration, which looking at the studies we looked at earlier, we know that ultrasound can actually help with product penetration. As far as all the other promises, let's take a look. So I have been using this now for about two months. It is very easy to use. And first of all, the device is very well made. I really love how well it is made. It feels quite solid and it is very easy to use. I actually really enjoy using this. You are supposed to use it between five and 10 minutes every other day, so about three days a week. They say to not use it more than that because you don't want to overwork the skin. The device comes with a conductive gel. However, the company states on the website that you can also use it without a conductive gel. And then it also comes with a hyaluronic acid serum. This is a multi-molecular weight hyaluronic acid, meaning it contains high molecular weight as well as low molecular weight hyaluronic acid. One thing I really appreciate is that all the products come in glass. So to do a treatment, I will first apply the hyaluronic acid serum. Once I have massaged in the hyaluronic acid serum, I then apply the conductive gel. Next, I turn the device on and then use it in an upward motion. The device can also be used with a biocellulose sheet mask. And in fact, the company sells a beautiful one. So like I said, I actually enjoy using this. It is very relaxing. You don't feel anything. And in fact, oftentimes I look and make sure. So when the device is on, you have a green light. Oftentimes I look and make sure it is actually on because you do not feel anything. And that is normal with ultrasound. You don't feel anything. However, if you put a couple of drops of water on your ultrasound, it will start to bubble. So you know it actually works. So let me turn it off. So like I said, I have been using this for about two months now on my face and only this side of my neck because it is difficult for me to actually see a difference on my face because I do all kinds of different things. I use other devices and my face is also in pretty good shape as far as the health of my skin. However, my neck, I have neglected for the longest time and it is really showing. So I figured using this on only one side of my neck, I would maybe or maybe not see a difference. I didn't want to take before and after pictures because it is quite challenging to take before and after pictures and lighting makes such a huge difference. So I figured if I only use it at one half, 
maybe we will have a better chance of seeing if there is actually an improvement. So I'm going to come closer. And again, I'm sorry, I am really sweaty. So I have been using it, like I said, on this side of my neck. And I only go to about right here because you do not want to use it on your thyroid. And I have not been using it on this side of my neck. Now, I can actually see a tiny bit of a difference. And even my husband told me the other day, I asked him, I said, let me step back. I'll come closer again to let you see one more time. But I asked my husband, I told him, I have been using this on only one side of my neck. Can you see a difference? I didn't tell him what side. And he looked very closely and then he said, this side. He said, this side looks like it is elongated, which I thought was interesting. And he said, it looks like it has less lines. Now I feel it has the same amount of lines as this side, but the lines are not quite as deep. And I actually noticed that when I apply sunscreen. I use physical sunscreen and I sweat a lot when I work out. So when I apply my physical sunscreen and then sweat, oftentimes, or really all the time, my sunscreen will collect in my necklines. But what I have noticed is that it doesn't collect as much on this side as on this side. Now, to be completely sure, we would have to measure the depth of my wrinkles. But I will come closer one more time and let you take a look and see for yourself if you can see a difference. So like I said, I have applied the ultrasound from here all the way over here. So I'm going to turn my neck. And my neck is quite red. It is always quite red from just accumulated sun damage. And like I said, it is very hot in here. And now I'm going to let you look at this side. So I definitely feel that the same amount of wrinkles are still there. They're sort of like necklaces. So they are necklace lines. But I definitely feel that on this side of my neck, they are less deep. So that is what I have noticed using the mirror ultrasound. I cannot tell you that I see a big difference on my face, but like I said, it is challenging for me to see a difference on my face, especially with something as subtle as ultrasound. So this is why I wanted to do the experience and only use it on the side of my neck. Now, I also the other day had a bruise. I knocked myself in the leg with a kettlebell. Normally when I have a bruise, the bruise will stick around for about seven to 10 days, which is normal for a bruise. It gets blue, then it gets green and yellow, and then it slowly fades away. So I actually used the mirror ultrasound on the bruise and in four days, the bruise was invisible. So that shows me that it definitely, the device definitely does something. It does what ultrasound is supposed to do, help heal tissue. And as I said, I do think I see a tiny bit of difference on my neck. Now I am going to continue to use the tool. As I said, it is very easy to use and I actually enjoy using it. And if I see any more difference in my skin, I will definitely let you know. I would say right after using it, I do feel there's a slight plumpness in my skin. Now that could be because of the hyaluronic acid and maybe because the device is driving the hyaluronic acid a bit deeper into my skin. I don't know if that plumpness actually sticks around. You tell me if you can see a difference in my face. But as I said, I do see a bit of a difference right here. My skin also feels a bit softer. So my skin on my neck feels very rough from the accumulated sun damage. It feels a bit softer on this side than on this side. So as I said, I will continue using it and let you know if I see a further difference. And actually, now that I came across these studies, I might just do a little experiment and try it on my hyperpigmentation on my hands and see if it maybe helps with that. And I will definitely let you know what happens. I would love to know in the comments if you have tried this. If so, have you seen any improvements? Please let us know down below. Any questions or comments, leave them down below. I always love to hear from you. And like I said, please keep the questions coming. I really so appreciate 
that you trust me with my opinion. It really warms my heart. So thank you so, so much. And also, <laughs> thank you so, so much for being here. I hope this video was helpful. Until next time, bye. As I'm editing this video, I realized I did not answer a question I get quite frequently. And that question is, how do I like the Time Master Pro and have I seen any results using it? If you're not familiar with the Time Master Pro, it is a very popular Korean skincare device, which also claims to be ultrasound. Now, when I talked to Pia, the co-developer of the Mirror Ultrasound, he was adamant that the Mirror Ultrasound is far superior to the Time Master Pro. In my opinion, you can't quite compare the two. First of all, though the Time Master Pro also claims to be ultrasound, it uses a very low frequency. It uses a frequency of 90 kilohertz, which translates to 0.09 megahertz, so almost 0.1 megahertz. The mirror ultrasound device uses a frequency of 1 megahertz. So one could easily believe since the mirror ultrasound uses a higher frequency, it is a better device. However, in ultrasound, normally, the lower the frequency, the deeper the penetration. So for example, a one megahertz ultrasound device penetrates deeper than, for example, a device using three megahertz. So the Time Master Pro uses a very low frequency on top of it using low frequency ultrasound, I am almost certain it uses EMS, electromagnetic muscle stimulation. Now I could not find any information on the Time Master Pro actually using EMS. In fact, there is very little information on the Time Master Pro available, but having used it myself, I'm almost certain it uses EMS. And on top of the EMS, it also has a very small, in my opinion, useless, very small LED surface. So it is a different device. Now, I used to own the Time Master Pro and actually gave it away. It gave me instant results. It instantly plumped my face, lifted my face, which of course was beautiful. But honestly, I could not understand how the Time Master Pro did what it did. And personally, I don't like to use anything on my face, no body, that I don't understand. I understand ultrasound, but I do not understand the Time Master Pro. When you use it, you feel a very strong sensation, which is why I believe it also has EMS. Because as I mentioned earlier, with ultrasound, aside from maybe a slight warmth, there really is no sensation. The Time Master Pro, however, feels very strong. It has a very strong vibrating sensation, unlike any ultrasound I have ever used. And though it gave me instant results, like I said, I don't understand how it works and I don't like to use something on my face I don't understand. If you have more information on how the Time Master Pro works, please share down below. I would really love to learn more about it and maybe once I understand how it actually does, what it does, I will repurchase the device, use it and then give you my opinion and let you know if I see any difference. But at this point, I don't own the Time Master Pro any longer. So unfortunately, I cannot tell you have I seen any results with it. If you own the Time Master Pro, please let us know down below what you think about it and have you seen any long lasting results? Because as I said, it gave me instant results. I don't know if they actually would stick around because I didn't use the device long enough to actually find out. So hopefully this was helpful. I'm sorry I don't have a different answer for you on the Time Master Pro. But like I said, if you use it, please share your experience down below. Thank you so much for being here. Bye.